Hey there guys, Mark here back with another video. So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at the ESP32 and what we can achieve with this and why it's important to go do a workshop surrounding the ESP32. So you might be a bit of a guru in the electronics field, playing around with Arduino and fiddling about, and you discovered that all of these pesky wires that you always have to worry about is getting in your way. You can't really send data on a 5 volt line over 100 meters. And that's going to be a big problem in your journey. So that's why I bring you the solution. This is our ESP32 little board right here. And this is quite a big upgrade to its uh, conventional Arduino counterpart. Where the Arduino only has a 16 megahertz processor, this one features a 240 megahertz processor. But I'm not here to talk about finicky specs. I'm going to talk about the actual big benefits of the ESP32. And that's going to be its Wi-Fi chip that comes on board. So included in the ESP32's very fast dual core package is a Wi-Fi module and a Bluetooth module that has been built in. Now that is going to be a big difference in your projects. So, meaning if you have a little battery pack or you have power allocated at one of your sensors, you can now send data from that sensor via an ESP32 to another ESP32 in range. We're also going to be learning how to control things from your phone, so how to turn things on and off, how to read sensor values on your phone, because now because it has Wi-Fi, you can integrate it into the internet of things so you can connect it to your router and get fired up on the internet you can also even send something like a whatsapp message but in our course we're going to be teaching you how to actually get going with the wireless communication systems surrounding the esp32 now our manual also includes an additional module surrounding LoRa, which I know very much people are interested in, but we're unfortunately not going to do that in the live workshop. So that's going to be an additional mo module you're going to be receiving with your ESP32 course. Along with this is going to be the help of our technicians. So you can always phone and ask if you have anything that you might need. And we're also going to be having a look at the Arduino IDE with the ESP32. So I know lots of you guys have been working with the Arduino IDE and you don't really want to learn a new programming language or a new interface. So that's why we're going to be doing this from the Arduino IDE with no extra cost to functionality. So without actually having to code this in Python, we're going to be coding it in a C++ library, C++ language model, and that's going to be very beneficial for everyone who's joining who has worked with Arduino in the past, as it's going to be a much more um, familiar environment that you're going to be working from. So alongside with this, we're going to have a few cool projects. We have a little project board that we're going to feature in our workshop. But all of the necessary components that you're going to need is going to come inside of your kit to learn all of these different um, wireless communication systems. So the first thing is going to be ESP Now. That's going to allow two ESPs to communicate between each other using their Wi-Fi on board. Now, a lot of people has a misconception surrounding Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi, you can actually send sensor data and do lots of loads of things without actually requiring mobile data for that. So the first thing ESP now, then we're going to be having a look at Bluetooth. Now, Bluetooth is also a very low um, energy messaging transmission application. Although I don't use it too often, uh, we're going to be having a look at how to use Bluetooth and we're going to be setting it up with your phone. So reading sensor data from your phone using Bluetooth. So there are a few quite practical applications for this, but we'll get into that in the workshop. And then another thing that we're going to be having a look at is web servers. Now, web servers are basically um, little web pages that you create and you host locally on your ESP32. So without internet, you can actually, or without internet access, you can create a web server on your ESP32. Meaning when you connect to its hotspot that it creates, you can actually control loads of things, loads of devices, read, read sensor values, and so much more. So... I hope to see you guys there and I hope we're all excited about our new ESP32 course. Thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on our next video.